Welcome to Discover Universe Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Manila, Philippines. In a stunning announcement, geologists have confirmed a monumental discovery beneath the country's beaches and mountains, vast reserves of rare earth metals. This isn't just another mining find, it's a game changer that could make the Philippines a powerhouse in the global technology supply chain. Experts are calling it one of the most significant economic revelations of the decade. For decades, the world has relied on a single source for these critical materials. Now that could all change. Initial reports suggest the deposits are extensive, possibly rivaling the world's largest reserves. These aren't gold or diamonds but the elements powering smartphones, electric cars, and wind turbines. The implications are enormous for the Philippine economy, international politics, and the tech industry. Filipino scientists and international teams have worked quietly for years and what they found exceeded expectations. The scale of the deposits could redefine the nation's economic future, lifting millions out of poverty and funding a new era of innovation. But with opportunity comes responsibility. The news has sparked both excitement and concern. The Philippines has a complicated mining history marked by both success and tragedy. The nation now faces a historic crossroads. Can it harness this wealth without sacrificing its natural heritage? So, what are rare earth metals? Despite the name, they're not actually rare, just rarely found in high enough concentrations to mine easily. This group of 17 elements includes neodymium, dysprosium, terbium, and yttrium. Names you might not know, but you use them every day. They're the silent heroes of our digital age, powering everything from smartphones and electric vehicles to wind turbines and LED lights. Neodymium and praseodymium create powerful magnets for motors. Europium and terbium make your screens vibrant. These metals are essential for the global push toward green energy and a sustainable future. Electric cars, wind turbines, and even energy-efficient lighting all depend on them. As the world races to combat climate change, demand for these elements is set to explode. For years, the supply chain has been concentrated in one country, creating vulnerabilities and geopolitical tensions. The Philippine discovery could bring much-needed stability and diversity to the market. It gives nations and companies more options, reducing the risk of supply disruptions. The Philippines hasn't just found valuable rocks, it's found leverage in the future of technology and green energy. This discovery could shift the balance of power in the global tech industry. The world is watching as the Philippines steps onto the center stage. The stakes couldn't be higher. Geological surveys have pinpointed key rare earth deposits across the Philippine archipelago. In Luzon's Cordillera Mountains, new data reveals substantial neodymium and dysprosium mixed with existing mineral veins. Palawan, known for its pristine ecosystems, holds large reserves of heavy rare earths like terbium and yttrium, raising tough questions about balancing extraction and conservation. Mindanao's Surigao provinces, already a nickel mining hub, are rich in scandium and other rare earths, offering a chance to co-extract these elements efficiently. The synergy could turn Mindanao into a global center for battery and green tech materials. The estimated value of these deposits is staggering, potentially hundreds of billions, even trillions of US dollars over the coming decades. This wealth could fundamentally reshape the Philippine economy. Early reports suggest the country could supply up to 20% of the world's demand for certain key elements. This isn't just a discovery, it's a national treasure waiting to be unlocked. The challenge extracting these resources without irreparable harm to the environment. The world is watching how the Philippines will manage this delicate balance. The stakes are as high as the mountains where these metals lie. The timing of this discovery couldn't be better. Global demand for rare earth metals is skyrocketing, driven by the green energy transition and the electric vehicle revolution. Offshore wind turbines and electric cars rely on rare earth magnets. Each turbine can contain over 600 kilograms of them. As automakers shift to electric vehicles, the need for these materials is soaring. Consumer electronics, from smartphones to laptops, also depend on rare earths, and billions are produced each year. The supply chain is under immense pressure, with manufacturers desperate for new, reliable sources. For years the world has relied on a handful of suppliers, creating a fragile and politically charged market. Prices are volatile and supply disruptions are common. The Philippine discovery offers a path to a more stable, diversified market. It provides manufacturers with crucial alternatives, potentially stabilizing prices. The world needs these metals to build a cleaner, more advanced future. The Philippines may have just found the key to unlocking that future. For the Philippines, this is more than a geological headline. 
it's a beacon of economic hope. The most immediate impact job creation, from miners and engineers to technicians and support staff, the ripple effect will boost local economies, creating thousands of indirect jobs. Billions in annual revenue could fund schools, hospitals, infrastructure, and pay down national debt. The discovery elevates the Philippines' global standing, making it a key partner for major economies eager to diversify supply chains. This could lead to stronger diplomatic ties, favorable trade agreements, and increased foreign investment. The real opportunity, moving up the value chain by developing processing and manufacturing capabilities at home. Imagine the Philippines not just mining rare earths, but producing high-purity metals and powerful magnets. This would create higher-paying jobs and foster a domestic high-tech industry. The ultimate prize-transforming raw resources into long-term, sustainable development and innovation. Despite the promise, the risks are real. Rare earth mining can devastate the environment. Deforestation, soil erosion, and habitat destruction are major concerns, especially in sensitive areas like Palawan. Processing involves hazardous chemicals, producing toxic waste that can poison water supplies and farmland if mismanaged. The memory of disasters like the Mar Copper spill haunts the nation, fueling deep distrust of large-scale mining. Local communities, farmers, fishermen, and indigenous peoples fear displacement and loss of livelihoods. Social risks are as significant as environmental ones with the potential to disrupt communities and strain local resources. There's a real danger that wealth won't reach those most affected. Addressing these fears and ensuring local voices are heard will be critical for any project's success. The government is pledging a new era of responsible mining, working with international experts to set strict environmental and social standards. Cutting-edge technologies like in-situ recovery and bio-leaching are being explored to minimize environmental impact. International collaboration is key. Independent monitoring and community benefit sharing are part of the plan. Companies will be required to post financial bonds for mine rehabilitation, ensuring land restoration after mining ends. The old model of dig and depart is over. The new standard leave the environment and communities better than they were found. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can set a new benchmark for responsible resource development. In villages across the Philippines, the discovery brings hope and fear. In northern Luzon, people see the promise of jobs and better infrastructure but worry about the cost. In Palawan, fishermen fear for their livelihoods and the health of the sea. Indigenous peoples in Mindanao insist on respect for their ancestral lands and rights. The constitution requires their free, prior, and informed consent before any project proceeds. Communities are organizing, demanding a real voice in decisions that affect them. The government's dream of prosperity depends on genuine partnerships with local voices. Success will be measured not just in dollars, but in how well the nation protects its people and heritage. The debate is happening not just in Manila but in village halls across the archipelago. The future of the Philippines will be shaped by these conversations. The Philippines stands at a monumental fork in the road. One path leads to prosperity, powered by rare earth metals and a new role as a global leader. The other warns of environmental disaster and the loss of natural beauty and livelihoods. The real question isn't if the Philippines should develop these resources, but how? Can strict regulations, innovative technology and community partnership create a just transition? The decisions made now will ripple across the globe, setting a precedent for resource development. The world is watching to see which future the Philippines will choose. Will it be a future forged in the bright promise of metal or lost in the mud of regret?